the fence. Come worship at the rivers. To learn and grow. Hi, we would like to welcome you to the rivers. Where your life will never be the same. I'm Pastor Don Givens. And I'm Pastor Susan Givens. And, and we, we would, would like to welcome you to come, come worship at the rivers. Amen, amen, and amen. Welcome to Real to Life Christian Center, Wednesday evening words of encouragement. I pray that you're walking in the blessing of the Lord, that you're walking in the fullness of salvation. God has a plan for you, and it's a good plan. It's a, it's a plan that is beyond anything this world system can hold against you. Remember, God is for you. What can be against you? So don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, every member of your body is in perfect health. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, all your financial needs are met and exceeded. I pray the peace of God upon you, a peace that surpasses all understanding. I pray the greatness of the anointing is manifesting in and upon your life. I pray that your knowledge of the Holy One is greater than it has ever been. I pray you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and realize all these things have been added to you. You go forth in the fullness of the Holy Spirit, for the power of the Lord is upon you. I pray, God, you walk in the sanctification of the Lord. So in Jesus' name, receive the greatness and fullness of salvation in manifestation to the glory of our Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Um, remember this, saints. Read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. Once again, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. Once again, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. Saints, you must have an unwavering prayer life. You must have a fasting regiment. You must read your Bible. You must obey the word of God. You must refrain from willful sin. Once again, you must have an unwavering prayer life. You must have an unwavering prayer life. You must have a fasting regiment. You must read your Bible. You must obey the word. You must refrain from willful sin. Once again, you must have an unwavering prayer life. You must have a fasting regiment. You must read your Bible. You must obey the word. You must refrain from willful sin. You must. These are things that establish you in righteousness. These are things that establish you in, in, the, in, your, uh, uh, in Christ Jesus. These are things that establish you in the word because I don't know what you're facing, but God does. I don't know what you're dealing with, but God does. And here's the thing you must realize, God is on your side. No matter what the test 
or the trial may be. And there are tests and there are trial, and trials and we are ordained to overcome them. Do, do not think that is some strange thing happening to you because of the fiery ordeal that you're going through. This thing that you're facing, the Lord desires for you to come forth as pure gold, refined gold. So I'm not trying to, to, to sugarcoat anything for you. You are in a battle. You have to fight the good fight of faith and you will overcome. You have been ordained to overcome, to overwhelmingly conquer. Don't allow what you're going through to cause you to doubt, to get in unbelief. And some of us as, as saints, we've been dealing with some things quite a while, but we continue to fight the good fight of faith that Jesus Christ might be glorified in the end. God has not forsaken you. You, 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 you are to even get closer to the Lord, spend more time with the Lord. Because you're going through something that doesn't mean that you just faint and fall away. Let me tell you something. Trials and tribulations are challenging. But faith has overcome them all. So, yes, you're going through some things, and and, and it may and it is very challenging uh, for you. But you just grow closer to God. You resist. You resist. You resist. You resist. You oppose, you stand against every enemy and every thief. Remember, the strong man is the Holy Spirit and you are baptized with the Holy Spirit. Jesus cast out the devil by the finger of God. you can do the same thing. Our Lord and Savior was tempted in every way and yet without sin. Jesus knows how to sympathize with whatever it is we're going through. Saints, this life is not a cakewalk. You must be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And it's not that it seems as if things are becoming more challenging. They are becoming more challenging. But God's grace is far greater than any challenge you face. You must understand, Jesus Christ always leads us in victory. So we focus on the goodness of God, on the greatness of God. We focus on Jesus the Christ. We focus on our Heavenly Father. We are, we are to read the word more that the Lord, that we may get greater understanding of, the, of God's will concerning um, us and how we are to function. We are living in a time 
We are living in a time where the only certain thing is Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Word of the living God. I encourage you, read the Word, pray the Word, obey the Word, speak the Word. time for us the sons and daughters of God to spend more time with our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior the Lord Jesus has cleansed us he's removed from us every spot every wrinkle every blemish the Lord Jesus Christ has delivered us from all sin, trespass, transgression, iniquity, curses, all that stuff has been removed in Christ Jesus because we've been cleansed by the blood. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ nailed all those things to the cross with his uh, 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 ordinances and the this, this certificate of debt and the ordinances that was with it. He nailed it to the cross and made an open show of them. He has freed us completely and totally. You fight the good fight of faith. You spend more time with the Lord than ever before. You, get, you are more determined in heart than ever before. The things that happen in this world, in this world system is going to happen. God's word cannot be broken. God's word over you cannot be broken. You spend time with God. Spend time in prayer. Spend time in the word. You, you intentionally obey the word. You intentionally do according to what the word says. You determine in your heart, this is who you are and it's what you do. This world system is, and, and this world is not your friend, but Jesus Christ is. Don't be condemned. Do not be condemned. Man, if, if, if you sin, stop sinning. It really is that simple. Love God, obey God, he's good to you. The Lord keeps you and the enemy does not touch you and yes, you are in Jesus' hands. And no one can pluck you out of Jesus' hands, no one. You stay focused on things above where Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. For our Heavenly Father has gathered you in his arms and keeps you in his holiness. You are blessed of the Lord and there is no curse on your life. For our Heavenly Father has blessed you with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior there's no room for a curse in your life because you're challenged and because you go through things does not mean you're cursed it doesn't mean there's an opportunity for you to prove the greatness of God in your life It's up to you to, by your faith, to move the mountain. And yes, your faith moves the mountain. 
make it determined in your heart that no matter what you face, it has already been destroyed if it is not of God. You see, our Heavenly Father sent His Word and healed us and delivered us from all of our destructions. All of them. All of them. And so you just have to determine in your heart I win this battle to the glory of my Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. The Bible teaches us that, that our Lord Jesus Christ always leads us in triumph. Bible says, listen, Christ redeemed you from the curse of the law. Did you hear that? This, this is the word. This is why you need to be in the word. Christ redeemed you from the curse of the law, becoming a curse for you so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon you. Well, just think about this. Not only is the blessing of Abraham upon you, the, the fullness and the blessing of the living God is upon you. It's time for you to take a stand. By your faith, you quench every flaming uh, arrow of the evil one. By your, by your faith, you destroy the, the destroyer off of your life. Well, destroyer is not on your life. Let me rephrase that. Forgive me. By faith, you destroy the enemy that's trying to rob you of what the Lord God has already given you. You see, Jesus said, the thief comes to steal kill and destroy but I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly saints you are of God and greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world you speak the sword of the spirit which is the word of God you destroy every work of every enemy off of your life to the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't even be moved by what you see. You are of God. The greatness of God is upon you. Saints, it's time for us to unify in the faith. We must all focus on Jesus Christ. It's time for us to stop uh, speaking ungodly things about one another. It's time for us to unify in Jesus Christ. We are to lift up our brothers and sisters in the Lord. We are to pray for our brothers and sisters in the Lord. We are to pray for one another. Let's get rid of everything that caused division and walk in the fullness of unity in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Saints, you are blessed of the Lord. You are blessed of the Lord. And so all of this is a part of fighting the good fight of faith. So if you would, let's go to 1 Timothy 6.12. 1 Timothy 6.12, the Bible says, that this is our foundation scripture for this entire teaching. The Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, for which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. You're gonna to have to fight this fight for yourself. You gotta stop 
putting your trust in the flesh and putting your trust in the living God. The Lord has given you the victory completely and totally. God has given you the victory. Look to Jesus Christ. Obey the Lord. Do that which is right in his sight. You always triumph. You always triumph. The greater one is in you and on you. You have an anointing from the Holy One. Walk in it. Look, we're going to have to stop there. Amen. Um, there are those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Now is a good time to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. If that is you, please pray this prayer with me and mean it from your heart. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, save me. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for being merciful to me. Amen. And there are those of you who are apostate. Listen, you need to change your evil and wicked ways. You need to walk away from your willful sin. And a willful sin is you sinning it and know that you are sinning against the Lord. You need to walk away from that. And you need to submit to God to do, it, to, to, to do His will, to fulfill his, his call on your life. If that's you, let's pray this prayer together. Lord Jesus Christ, I turn from my sin I turn to you. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, renew me in righteousness again. And I will follow you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ for manifesting your mercy on me. Amen. My next invitation is to invite you um, to go to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is Rivers of Life Christian Center, Chesapeake, VA. Once again, our YouTube channel is Rivers of Life Christian Center, Chesapeake, VA. Go to this channel. Revive your ministry. Invite your family, friends, co-workers, um, Start a Bible study. Start a group. Let's unify together. Let's work together to win the lost, to win those um, who are dear to us. Put this teaching on every platform you have. Don't, and, and link this to every platform you have. And let's send it out around the world. And let's be effectual workers in the vineyard of the Lord Jesus Christ. Saints, let's work together. Let's be one group, one group and one body working together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's join in where we can. And let's move forward in Jesus Christ. My next invitation 
is to invite you to come worship with us at the church's physical location. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. Once again, we are Rivers of Life Christian Center. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. Saints, it's time for us to gather. It's time for us to come together. It's time for us to fellowship with the Lord and with one another. Saints, we must, we must come together as a body, especially now in the times in which we are living. I, I am expecting to see you at Rivers of Life Christian Center this Sunday, this Sunday. It's time for you to put aside all the other things that may have happened in the past. It's time for you to go forth in Christ Jesus as one. Our service times are Sunday, 10 a.m., Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Once again, our service times are Sunday, 10 a.m., Wednesdays, 6.30 p.m. Remember, our Wednesday uh, evening service is online only until further notice. Once again, our Wednesday 6.30 p.m. service is online only until further notice. Go to our website and visit our website. Our website address is www.riversoflifecc.com. Once again, our website is www.riversoflifecc.com. Saints of the Most High God, it's time for us to go forth in Christ Jesus. It's time for us to exalt our Lord and Savior. Saints, I want you to remember this. Something good is going to happen to you this very hour, this very day. Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. Come worship at the rivers. Thank you for watching tonight's Words of Encouragement. Come worship at the rivers.